so Gemini, I think you might be surprised by, you know, what's going on internally when it comes to this person here. We've got the Seven of Cups, which talks about confusion. Yes, it could represent options, but for this spread, it's more about confusion. So this is going to make sense to you once you understand what's going on when it comes to this person. That way you can handle them um, in a different way. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello uh, Gemini, welcome to my channel, welcome back <laughs> to my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your your general love reading for uh, October. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Guys feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. Here we go. It is time stamped. So if you click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Lovely, so just give me a moment to just Take these in and I'll be back. So Gemini, let's start your reading. All right, so um, yeah, you might be thinking, you might be kind of thinking, you know, what, what's the delay? What's the hold up when it comes to this person? Um, and there is a hold up, there is a delay because you've already, we've got the two of cups here, which represents emotional connection, sometimes a deep emotional connection. So there's definitely been an emotional connection that you've developed with this person, which kind of makes you feel like this is an opportunity for you to actually create something new, have something new with this person. A lot of passion, a lot of desire with that night of uh, wands there, but also with that comes this level of determination. I'm not sure whether, you know, you've, you know, sometimes we're in a dating pool and, you know, we kind of, even if you've been on dates or you've met people or whatever, nothing like this. It's, it's, you've not come across um, someone that you've actually developed or had this type of emotional connection with before, which is why we've got that Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very much a determined uh, queen. She, she's ambitious, determined, highly attractive, uh, but very focused as well. So there's a level of determination that you have when it comes to just you want in this relationship with this person like i said it's coming from a place of maybe not having encountered this level of emotional connection before if not in a long time so for you you're showing up as the king at the moment of blades you know you're trying to trying to either communicate with this person um you know communicate why it's good for you guys to maybe progress this or turn this into something where with, your, where with your person, whoever this is, they're showing up as the two of coins, which talks about having the need to make a choice, a choice about something. Now, I don't feel, because there's nothing that says it's about, there's nothing that says it's a choice between two people, but sometimes that could represent that. It's more about the choice whether or not for them to progress with this. And you're thinking, you know, I mean, it doesn't even make sense. Like, you know, why, why would you, why would you? Well, the thing is, it's like, there's confusion. They've got seven of cups there and they've got the four of swords. So when we're talking about the four of swords, we're talking about the need to process, think about something, process something. There is confusion. When we're talking about the seven of cups, we're talking about a bit of confusion, options. But for this spread, it's more about them being confused emotionally. Again, it's not a choice between two people. It's a choice between whether they're actually going to continue or progress this to the next stage or not. So at the moment, they're like holding up their their, their guards with you, um, as well as and that and that holding up their guards could be literally kind of trying to make you you trying to get closer, and them trying and them kind of you know bringing you closer but holding you at a distance at the same time. But also be very strategic in terms of how they handle this, how they move when it comes to this. There is frustration though. Um, 
Gemini, yeah, there's frustration there, that five of wands, and that's coming from this queen um, and this knight. I mean, a lot of passion from your end, a lot of desire, a lot of excitement. Um, again, we've got that determination, but it's causing this person to um, be a bit frustrated, be a bit frustrated. I don't want to use the word panicking, because it's not so much panicking, it's, it's more about frustration, yeah. Um, because it's not to say, this is quite interesting, they got the high priestess. So when we're talking about the high priestess, we're talking about divine connection, uh, divine insight, um, deep spiritual connection. Sometimes it represents soulmate, twin flame, if you believe in that type of thing. So they, they want that. I feel like there's acknowledgement of the potential of that already. Or, you know, one second. Yeah, it's the, there you go, that's just kind of, oops, that's just kind of cemented exactly what it is that I thought. This person, yeah, there's acknowledgement of what this connection is, and that's what, that's what they fear. And it's not to, to say that they fear the connection itself, they fear things crumbling, things not working out, things not turning out, um, you guys not making it ultimately, and the reason why they fear that is because this person recognizes that they'll get hurt. You know, they'll get hurt if this doesn't work out. I'm not sure what's happened prior to this person in terms of just their journey when it comes to a relationship. I do apologize about that, guys. My son. And um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's more about um, it not ending. Um, it not ending. It not working it not turning out well like i said it's i'm not sure whether this person i'm not sure about their past experiences maybe that's something you could uh, maybe inquire about if you haven't if you have already kind of dig a bit deeper it could be due to that but there's definitely this fear because the three of swords represents um for me it represents yes of course you know heartbreak but also fear as well. So it's like they need to, we've got that King of Swords again. King of Swords is very much a strategic, um, high level thinking type of sword, uh, type of card, type of king. We've got that twice there. So it's like they wanna take a risk with that page, but it, mm, yeah, they're finding it quite difficult. It's like I've got to be smart with this. I don't know if this person has even encountered this level of connection before but you you're like just gonna pull on that definitely wanting to overcome this <laughs> like i said that queen is no joke queen is very determined because uh, you've and rightfully so i mean i know where it's coming from you've met someone that you just click with this is someone that you click with and you're not wanting things to end so there's a level of yeah do you see that nine of Nine of uh, Pentacles talks about, yeah, talks about advancing all the Pentacles there on top of that nine. So the Nine of Pentacles talks about advancing, um, yeah, towards that Queen of Pentacles, which talks about establishing something. So you're not wanting, yeah, you're definitely, <laughs> you're not going to make this end at all, hence why you're showing up as the, the King of Blades. You want to get to the bottom of this. What's going on? What's the delay? The delay is they fear this ending, you know, and they'll be hurt, like really hurt by this. I'm talking about like, you know, possibly unable to crawl their way back up again, if that makes sense. I feel like when this person opens up their heart, they really open up their heart and they love deep. Usually when people you know, fear this type of um, connection in terms of it just being a level of, you know, things come to an end, it's because they love deeply, you know, the well is very deep. So you're dealing with someone who needs a bit of time, not too much time, you don't want to be waiting on someone, allowing them to drag their feet. Um, however, I feel like prior, hmm, prior, 
whatever. Inquire more about their past relationships. Inquire more about their childhood. See what's going on there. That way you can understand or gain some more understanding of just how they're feeling, their emotions, when it comes, their, their internal world when it comes to just relationships, especially this relationship here. So hopefully this has given you some form of clarity, um, Gemini. I will be implementing the part twos um, within the next couple of weeks, guys. So just bear with me when it comes to that. For those of you who don't know, it will be me just kind of diving deeper into these spreads, uh, clarifying them more, etc., etc. I'll also be implementing the singles, single readings as well next week. So very excited about that. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.